we're going to be talking about Bharat Forge. It posted its second quarter numbers on Friday. Company's margins were up despite recording flat volumes, weak demand from the automobile space, but uh, uh, it may have had a dampening effect. But it seems the company's exports have seen a boost, specifically from Europe. Baba Kalyani, chairman of the company, now joins us on this conversation. Mr. Kalyani, thank you so much for joining us on Bloomberg. Uh, you've had flat volumes this quarter, but what is your assessment of automobile demand? Are you seeing any signs of revival, specifically in the medium and heavy commercial vehicle segment? No, I'm afraid not. Uh, I don't see anything that's going to uh, bring volumes back in that segment. Uh, I think uh, it's going to take a little more time uh, for that to happen. And therefore, I think we will see uh, uh, more flat demand, at least uh, in the Indian market. Sir, your margins have improved uh, by about 3%. Has that largely been because of currency gains? Uh, and is there a ban for profitability that you have in mind? No, I think, you know, yes, currency gains have definitely helped on the export side. But I think uh, there's also been a lot of uh, cost reduction in operations. Uh, especially if you look at the variable cost of manufacturing, we have been able to bring it down, uh, you know, quite reasonably on energy, on uh, consumables. So it's been an overall impact of uh, cost efficiency and, uh, uh, you know, uh, currency uh, uh, tailwinds that are there for our exports. So I understand that you've seen significant uptick in your export volume, specifically from Europe, and it seems to have uh, done extremely well. Uh, is the European market looking up? Yeah, uh, you know, I think uh, we have a, a customer segment that's uh, in the right uh, places in Europe. For example, we supply to all the high-end vehicles. Uh, we supply to all the truck guys, uh, especially in Northern Europe and Scandinavia. And uh, I think those companies have held on to their volumes quite well uh, on the back of exports that they do. And uh, the indications are uh, the volumes will hold and uh, uh, we should see a small growth uh, even next year, although this is a pre-buy season uh, in Europe. Uh, but uh, things are still looking pretty good.